A few short years ago, I was struggling to generate $200 per week as an eBay seller. But after implementing this one simple change, I was able to 10X my sales into $2,500 per week. In this video, I'm gonna show you what that change was and how you can use it too. And all you're gonna need is two free downloadable apps on your phone. So the number one mistake that beginner eBay sellers make is not sourcing the right product. And there are some really good tools, these two apps that we're gonna work through to work out what is a good item. The first app that we're using here is eBay. I've got this vintage Batman corduroy hat and uh, the comps as you can see there, we're finding some exact matches around about that 60 to $80. Don't be afraid if they're international price points as well, because you can offer that feature as well. I'm using the eProfit app, which is the second app here as well. And this one plugs in all the details to let us know that we've got a profit there of about $50 with this hat. I picked up this one as well. It was a Red Bull hat for $5, won't quite be 50, but we'll still get some good profit out of that one as well. Now, the other thing you wanna do when it comes to sourcing the right item, guys, is, is quality. You wanna check for condition. And unfortunately, while Hoka is a very good running shoe brand, as you'll see by searching comps on eBay, at $25 for that shoe in that condition, probably won't get you enough profit. These as well though, this was another really good example. We've got the Asics Gel Contend 7. They sell for about 70, uh, sorry, $50 on eBay per the comps that you can see there. And then when you put it into the eProfit calculator, there's a significant amount of profit because you're buying them in store for just $10. I really love selling the shoes though because the sell-through rate is always pretty high. All of these major brands like Nike, Adidas, Asics, they've always got a lot of sales history. So you can always have a bit of confidence in the category. Now these here for $10, that were going for over 100, but these are only a size for youth, and size is very important. The bigger, the better. Uh, for youth, I should be able to get about 60, which still at $10 nets me a $30 profit, so I took those. These here are great running shoes, Asics Gel Nimbus, but I put them back because of that fabric tear. Quality is so, so important, and that's enough for me to say no. This one here is a really good example, the Nike Metcon 3, that they're about a $45 shoe, $15 in store. E-Profit tells me it's a double your money scenario, and that's what I look for as a minimum. You wanna just at least be able to double your money. This one here, another good example, $45 sale price 14 profit buying them for 16. I still can't believe that we've come across this vintage Batman hat guys for two dollars that is going to be a very very quick sale and if you take nothing more away from this video just don't sleep on your hats in thrift stores they're always cheap and some of them like that one can go for some big big money. Hey guys, Editor Matt here. Just wanted to jump in and just quickly say that that Batman hat actually went on to sell on the very same day that I listed it. We got a $70 sale price and it sold within the space of just a couple of hours. So, hats, make sure you're looking for them. I thought we'd stick with the theme of hats because I've just come across this. The Fight MND, this is a collectible item. It's a beanie that goes for about $40, but if you get the full set, these things can go upwards of 200 bucks. But the one that I've got should net me about a $25 profit. So that was pretty cool to see. This one here, Dragon, awesome pair of jeans, guys. Have a look at the price points on these. Multiple sales in the category as well. Just a $9 purchase price in store. These have got the Kevlar uh, inner lining, so that's why they're worth a little bit of money. Uh, it should be about $112 in profit. So Dragon in the jeans, add it to the bolo list. Guys, we've just had some really exciting news come through. I've just received a DM on Instagram from a viewer of the channel uh, by the name of Luke, and he says that he's actually getting out of eBay. He's got a really good full-time job. It's a bunch of hours, and he doesn't have a lot of time now for eBay. So he said to me, did you want to go ahead and secure the eBay store? And I said, absolutely, let's go ahead and do it. So I bought his entire eBay business literally as I was walking out of that last thrift store, and I haven't even seen his store. So maybe it's a bit of a risk. I don't think it is because I think there's some pretty decent stuff in there. $700 for an entire eBay store is a pretty decent price as well. So he's actually dropping it off in a couple of hours and I'm gonna keep the camera rolling today and I'm gonna show you that delivery at the end of the video. And ultimately we'll both have a bit of a look in there to see exactly what we've been able to pick up. So super exciting stuff. We've got a lot of stuff to list up now. Well, Courtney does at least anyway. We still were able to come across a couple of other really good items here. This one, Jackass uh, Uncut, it goes for about oh, $30 to $40. So I bought it for $10, won't be a crazy amount of profit, maybe $10 to $15. This one here, Pirates of the Caribbean, goes for $25, bought it for $5. That's a pretty typical sale price for a game that I'd buy for $5. This one here for $4, Gran Turismo 6, selling for about $20. So the video games sell really well for me, but media, DVDs, just such a big, big category. 
I do sort of dabble with the books when I'm low on stock and this Paul Jennings Unbeatable Collection goes for about $30 worth of an average sale price and I'm picking it up here for $6 in store. So there's about $10 in profit expected out of that one. So again, we're over doubling our money on the investment. So I'm happy with that. This was a crazy find though. We've got six out of a total of seven books for the complete collection of Harry Potter. They're all hardcover and four out of the six which are all the hardcover books, as you can see there, first edition, which means the average sale price of each of these books is $30 to $40, and I'm paying $3 a piece. The hardcovers I paid five, but five into 30 to 40 each was a very, very good pickup. So, some crazy grabs to finish it off. Nice. Have a look at the goods. <laughs> Blue healers in the bill. It's a good start. All right, let's start bringing it all in there. So crazy. Well done. And uh, 700 bucks, eh? Yep, done. Thank you. Happy days, my man. This is um, exactly what we were after. <laughs> I've never seen so many listings in here. <laughs> no, ton of listings. Kind of yeah. like the January uh, big buyout that we did for, yeah. Yeah. for the guy in Brizzy. But, um, this is all, literally everything is TV show seasons, <laughs> which is um, which is fantastic. Big box sets as well. And, and just like this box, this Storage King box goes down forever. It's a huge tub. So oh I'm going to have so much fun just sifting through it all. Because I didn't even check your eBay store. All right. Well, yeah, this will be us for the next three and a half weeks. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. We'll get a work cut out for it. Yeah, unreal. Very Thank you. Good to see you. Bye. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. See you later. Wow, we. So this is just incredible, guys. We've got so much to pick from here. I've just seen this, which is Midsummer Murders. We've got so many different seasons of this show, which I know goes for some massive money. Season 10, season 22, 17. So there's going to be a lot of money in there. I think that's Courtney now. Yo. Hello. I've got a mic. Oh, no. What am I doing? Oh, we're on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm just going. You can go through. Um, so I think Courtney and I were sort of saying that there were about 380, about 380 listings all up in total and Courtney's been working through it and there's been 30, 40, 50, 60 dollar average sale price type items in here. So yeah, just really cool. It's going to be about three or four weeks worth of listings. Um, we're doing 15 listings every single day and uh, Courtney's going to be away for a couple of weeks or a week and a, how long are you away? Seven, 10 days? 10 days. Um, so Courtney's going to be in Perth um, for the next 10 days. So she's going to be chipping away at listing 15 a day. And uh, yeah, how's it been so far? It's good. I got snacks. Needed snacks. Yeah. No, nah, good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's full on. It is. Just because like, well, <laughs> we have so many DVDs like, so it's like the time of like, making sure we haven't already got it. That's a good point, yeah, because there's a lot of like TV shows, like Criminal Minds, for instance, like this one here. I've already got Criminal Minds. There's Criminal Minds on the shelf. So it's just a matter of um, double checking to see what we've got in this new allocation versus what we've already got. And then Courtney, you're manipulating the listing, hey? Yeah, yeah. Manipulating like, it away. If we have the exact same thing, I just put the quantity to exactly what we have. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep chipping away at it, but I haven't told them about what the big announcement is yet. Should I do it now? What yeah. is it? The big, the big, the big announcement. Oh yeah. So yeah, so this buyout really came at a great time because I've been thinking, and Courtney and I have been thinking for a really long time, um, about going back to the US. Obviously I went last year. Uh, and absolutely loved it. There was so much, I guess, opportunity that came from it and a lot of cool connections. And we've just been trying to get ourselves into a position where I can go back and we're going. Not Courtney. No, when we're not going. Matt's going. Now. I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. Super exciting. 
Yeah, very, very exciting. So Courtney's in Perth uh, in the next, we've got a little calendar going. She's, how long have you got left? Like two weeks till I go. Yeah, you are literally two weeks away mm -hmm. from going. Mm -hmm. And then and then there's only five business days before I go to America. So we kind of looked at it and we're like, right, we've got 32 days before I'm off to the US. We need 510 listings to go live before I leave. And then I really want to keep the store um, running. I want Courtney to keep working. Um, I'm going to be over there doing my thing, making a bunch of videos. Um, Completely and, off eBay, so yeah. hopefully shit doesn't. <laughs> yeah, Courtney's literally running the whole show here. So we're going to try and get Courtney up to speed to be able to pick everything, ship everything, list everything. And my job is to try and have 510 listings done before I go, but I also want to buy mm. another 225 listings that Courtney can then list up while I'm over in the US. I'm going to be in the US for about two weeks. Um, so Courtney's going to be manning the ship here mm. for the next, <laughs> for those 14 days. Mm. Um, but I think you can do it. I've got no yes. concerns. Yes, I can. Six months, Courtney's been now uh, working part-time. So yep. I think it's the perfect opportunity for her to do it for two weeks. Um, I'll obviously be, be able to communicate and talk to her through any issues. Uh, but I don't think there will be any issues. I reckon you'll be... No. I reckon you'll be pretty spot on. Yeah. So I'm going to be at FlipCon. Uh, I'm going to go to North Carolina. I'm going to catch up with all of the guys going to FlipCon. Very excited about that. Um, I don't have any plans at the moment. I've literally just booked flights. I'm going to be in the US. Oh. Oh. I'm going to be in the US. It was a fly. I'm going to be in the US from August 6 to August 20. Um, so yeah, two weeks in the US. No real plans. Definitely going to FlipCon. New York? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It'd be good to let me know in the comments below where you think I should go, who you think I should uh, link up with. Um, but I'm very, very excited. It's going to be a whole heap of fun. And uh, Courtney had a bit of a chill out in Perth before she's pretty hectic in, in August. Yeah. So there you go, guys. We kind of got a little bit off track on the topic of today's video, but ultimately I hope that little thrift trip that we did kind of depicts it doesn't need to be shoes or video games or DVDs. You can ultimately buy anything as long as you do that prior research in store, everything can sell onto eBay. You've just got to buy it at the right price and make sure there's some sales history on eBay to give you the confidence to go ahead and know that you're going to make a decent enough amount of profit to put in the work to sell it. Um, obviously, the buyout was completely unexpected, but very much needed. We need seven. 130 listings uh, before I go to the USA in just 32 days. Uh, so the fact that that's going to be about 350 listings pretty much gets us halfway. So in the next 32 days, I'm going to have to try and find another 350 listings so Courtney can list it all up while I'm away over in the USA. I wanted to let you guys in on that. That was planned to let you know about the USA trip in this video today. Obviously, 32 days to go. A lot of planning still to be done for it. Would love your advice. Would love your opinions on where I should go, who I should catch up with. Um, pretty much plan my itinerary for me because right now it's just FlipCon on the itinerary and I've got 15 days to ultimately fill in. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. A lot of planning. I can't wait for it. Very, very exciting news. But man, I've got to go get back to some listings. Appreciate you here, guys. I'll leave you with this video, which is a flea market video, which is what I'm going to be doing this Sunday because like I said, we just need stock.